the most momentous decision of the Abbott Trust government thus far announced, and announced with palpable enthusiasm and energy and electricity by Finance Minister <laughs> Matthias Explosion Corman. I'm pleased to announce that after a careful consideration of uh, the scoping study uh, into a sale of Medibank uh, private and subject uh, to market conditions, uh, that the government has decided to proceed uh, with the sale of Medibank uh, through an initial uh, public offering uh, in the 2014-15 uh, financial year. <laughs> ah. But isn't, uh, isn't selling Medibank private a bit like killing the goose that lays the golden egg, spokesperson for Finance Minister Darius Horsham? Sean, you are being an economic girly man. <laughs> We are not killing the goose that lays the golden eggs. We are just selling it to someone else. Mm. Whether he or she kills it or not is up to them. And, uh, <laughs> and the market that we, for the moment, continue to regulate, but soon we'll have no control All over. Right. <laughs> but but the, goose, the goose does, does more, doesn't it, than lay golden eggs. Uh, the goose also provides goose down for the comfort of hundreds of, of thousands, maybe even millions of Australians. We don't intend to pluck the feathers out of the golden goose before we sell it, Sean. He can continue to be covered in them if that's why the new owner desires, but there's no accounting for the perversions of goose owners on the level playing field of the market. That's what free enterprise is all about. All right. <laughs> will, will the golden goose survive in an increasingly unregulated market with no feathers? The age of entitlement is over, Sean. If it comes waddling back to us asking for a bailout, it'll find itself on a rebranded Qantas flight back to whatever country ends up owning it pretty damn quick. All right, thank you very much, Darius. But is the sale of a possibly plucked and shivering Medibank private. Good news for the 3.8 million members. Matters Health Finance reporter Brainiac Mullins. Well, the real positive about Medibank listing on the stock exchange, Sean, is that finally we'll all have the opportunity to buy a piece of something we all currently own. All right. <laughs> but if we're members, though, uh, some of us sort of already own it twice, don't we? Well, that's why getting rid of it is fairer, Sean, because we all contribute to it with our taxes, but you can't take advantage of the service unless you pay more money to join. It's like having a public transport system and then expecting people to buy tickets to use it. It's, <laughs> it's hardly in line with the much-vaunted egalitarian principles of our so-called government. All right, but, but, but don't they need the money to plug the $123 billion black hole they're always banging on about? Exactly, Sean. That's why they're selling it off. What are you, f***ing retarded? <laughs> no, no, no but, but, but they're only going to get about two billion for it. It, it makes nearly a quarter of a billion profit every year. That's, uh, that gets me back to my original question. Why, why would the government sell the one thing that actually makes them money? Anybody? <laughs> no, Darius, we've heard from you. Um, Karen Middleton from SBS. The government is concerned that it has a conflict of interest in owning a health fund and also regulating the industry. Well, fair enough, I suppose. It'd be like owning schools and wanting to regulate the education system. <laughs> Still to come.